Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft with me, Scott. And, um, and it's already turning into nighttime. Wow, great timing. Um, so I'm just going to show you real quick, and then I'm going to skip to the daytime so we can continue what we're doing. But uh, as you can see here, we have the foundation of our house and uh, starting to go up. Um, so yeah, we're going to put the chests right here, and um, again, this room's going to be where the furnaces go, our bed's going to go right around here. Um, it's coming along real nicely, but it's dark right now, so... Uh... I say it's not much like more stuff keeps showing up awesome well I actually haven't even made a uh, I, should, I haven't actually made a uh, iron pick yet so I can't actually harvest this but uh, I'll go get one and we'll end up mining that so uh, awesome first good find yeah so uh, remember what I said about this cave not being that big yeah um, so it looks like it goes off that way for quite a ways, and, uh, there's lava blocking the path, so this is pretty cool. I mean, still not the greatest cave I've ever seen, but, uh, I'm actually saying that because I'm hoping the cave will hurt me wrong. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. So, um, fun fact, uh, I kind of made a mistake when I was recording, and apparently... Um, so I went back and I worked on my house, and then a thunderstorm rolled in, and then I realized... So I came back down here, because it got dark, and there was like crazy amounts of thunder. And I then realized that apparently it wasn't recording, so it's a bit of a bummer, but thankfully, I didn't end up doing that much. And I think it's daytime now? No, it's still nighttime. Alright, we're gonna make an iron pick, and we're gonna mine that, uh... Uh, we don't actually have any iron. Here, let's change that. Make a furnace to go down here. I'm gonna put some... Coal in here. Make some iron. Make another stone pick too. Alright. I've always been in the habit of using stone tools and only using iron tools for special things. And then using diamond tools once you get an enchanting table so that you can give them, like, you know, unbreaking three so that they'll last super long. Um, I realize, so iron is really not that uncommon. Um, and they've, they've constantly, they've been trying to make it more and more abundant recently because, I don't know, I've always said that iron is really the most valuable resource because it's the hardest to get a lot of. Or maybe that's gold. I don't know, because you can make an iron farm using, uh, uh, a gameplay mechanic with the spawning of iron golems, um, which I've done before on a server, and it's pretty cool. So I guess maybe gold would actually be the hardest to get, but I don't know. You use iron for a lot of things, and so because of that, I always find my iron, my source of iron, uh, constantly depleting. Um, whereas, like, I often, usually by a certain point, I end up with a pretty large stockpile of diamond, and, you know, it, it eventually gets to the point where sometimes I'll have, like, you know, half a stack of diamonds at one point, and I'll have, like, no iron, and it's, I don't know, I think it's kind of ironic, but, uh, yeah, no, it seems like they've been really working hard. I, I do remember, I think when 1.7 came out, they did something to make iron more abundant. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I find it to be a lot easier to find than it used to be. So that's good. And, ooh, all right, it's sunny out. So I'm going to show you guys what I did. Um, I really wanted to show it. I really wanted to build it on camera. And most of it, it's, it's still, like, mostly just walls going up. So we'll still build most of it on camera. But, uh... 
I'll just show you how it's going, and wow, this is a really, really long mine chest. So first of all, I put these trapdoors in. I don't know if I remember that. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, this is where the chests are going to go. This is where that window is going to go that I'm talking about. Put in our doors, and uh, let's take a let's, let's step back a little and take a good look at it. Yeah, so this is how it's coming together. Um, that is, so that's the chimney. Um, it'll look better when we have the roof of our house to go with it, because right now it kind of just juts out. Um, but basically, what it is is just a three by three column, and on the inside, I indented it um, and put furnaces in here because um, I don't know, putting a fireplace indoors, it's 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 cool, but when your house is made out of wood, I, I don't recommend it. There's really no way to make it look cool without, like, covering it up in, like, glass and all that. Um, which I don't feel like is a, a design that sort of fits the theme of this house. Um, it's really just supposed to be kind of a shack. Um, so, you know, I tried to make it functional, and then, yeah, basically I just build this, this uh, cobblestone column on top um, with stair blocks going around the surface at the top and then what I'm going to do is once we go to the nether I'm going to piece it, put a piece of nether rack inside there um, and then uh, light it so that it's always on fire and um, when you have the particle effects on high which I do oh I don't have a shovel but anyway when you have the particle effects on high um, from, the, from the bottom from the ground view you can see little bits of smoke coming out and I think it's a really nice it's a nice touch I think that gives the place some character um, so it's probably a bit nicer than we needed to make it for a starting house but uh, eh, whatever who cares who cares if we live in luxury for the first part of this game I don't know, just, I've never, again, I've never been a big fan of the whole, oh, just make a dirt shack to start off. I mean, eh, whatever. If it works for you, that's great. I just prefer to, even even when I have minimal resources, meaning wood and cobblestone, I always like to make something, try to make something that looks a little nice. So, yeah, but yeah, this is basically it. So, and then this little area, this is where the bed's going to go. We're just going to put the bed on top of here. And this is our back door, which I think is great. Um, used to never build a back door. Uh, and then I learned that, you know, sometimes creepers like to hang out here. It's really, when, it, when that happens, it's a really good idea to have a back door. Um, so it also just makes it easier to get around. So, all right, we're just going to use up the rest of our planks here, and then I'm going to get more wood, and uh, and then we're going to see, I think we'll save the roof building for another episode, um, but, uh, but uh, yeah, we'll get the walls finished today, and, uh, and then, yeah, we'll call it a video, so... All right, and so. All right, so as you can see, the house is coming along nicely. We have the walls pretty much done. Um, 
and uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a video here. So we got our storage room done. Uh, still need to get some glass so we can make the windows. We got this room done. We got our furnaces. Um, it's pretty bare right now, I know, and also there's like all these weird things in the room. So we're going to put some windows in up high to sort of open up the place a little bit and also make the outside look a little more appealing because uh, I do know that it looks kind of just like bunch of wood right now but we're gonna put a window where that little notch is and yeah it's gonna go it's gonna go up much higher uh, once we get the roof going which we will do in the next episode so uh, all right thanks for watching see you later